So in the last video, we talked about Bitcoin and I talked about how I wasn't buying it because it was not acting as an inflation hedge and it just had been trading like a tech stock, basically. So we had this break of the downtrend, this blue line here, and we broke out right there. And 37,051 was the level, right? So we were right here testing it again. Now, if it holds, that would be crazy bullish. I um, just personally don't have any interest in buying any Bitcoin right now. But if this does hold, we probably could see 37,000 play out to be a strong level. Now, like I had talked about in my last um, video yesterday, that's right here on what we have um, as pretty much the neckline of this. Let me get the right tool out. It would be um, the neckline of this double top. And so the double top, I just stopped that there. The double top is not, the, the neckline is not looking to be uh, perfectly horizontal. So we kind of have our neckline really kind of like that, right? So if Bitcoin does go to hold this trend line, hold this neckline and just consolidate here for a while, I would love to see it consolidate for a few weeks or a couple months at some level before I decided to take any kind of shot at it. And even then, you could just play a break above. Um, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I'm real skeptical on anything, any anything speculative. Uh, but like I said, you can trade anything. I don't know if 37,000 holds for years and years to come or months and months to come or just a few days. I have no idea. But if, if this were a normal... Um, if we were still in a low rate environment and we weren't worried about um, rates rising and significant balance sheet runoffs and stuff like that of that nature, I would most definitely be buying Bitcoin and holding it, plan to hold it for, you know, a few weeks, a couple months until we retest. Uh, I just trim at these resistance levels as we go higher and higher. So um, and, and just in this environment right now, I'm just not interested. Um, there's a lot of other things I would rather buy. But I do think this is a good trading opportunity. And I would just probably set a stop loss. Ah, oh, man. I would probably set a stop loss. That's tough. I don't even know where I would set a stop loss. Because, I mean, you could you could be really conservative and set it at, like, 36.5. Or you could set it under 33, 32, um, under 30. So it's like you just, I just don't know where Bitcoin going to, like, I don't know. I don't even know why I would set my stop loss at. So you got a bunch of support levels here. Um, and I mean, like I said, if Bitcoin was, was acting as an inflationary hedge, this would be a great play. If we was in a low rate environment, this would be a great play for whatever Bitcoin wanted to be. I don't know what it wants to be. So I can't say, yeah, I like this support right here. Or I'm going to add more to my position right here. Or I'm a, I like this support level here. I'm going to add more here. I think this level going to hold. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at something like Morgan Stanley, it's a big bank. I'm playing these dips. I'm playing these pullbacks every single time because I know what Morgan Stanley bringing to the table. I know what Morgan Stanley doing in a higher rate environment. I know what's coming for Morgan Stanley, that, that kind of thing. But I just don't know for Bitcoin. And um, when, when you're in a situation like that, it's best to just not invest because when your emotions get involved and the trade even start to look like it's not going your way, you start doing crazy stuff. You start doing wild stuff. And I'd rather miss out on an opportunity because there will always be another trade. There will always be a greater, a better long-term investment. There will always be a better trade somewhere down the line, some point in life. And that's just the game you got to play. You got to be patient and just wait for stuff to come to you. And if you don't like it, don't trade it. Don't buy it. Don't hold it. If you want to throw like, if I want to throw like $20, $50, $100 at this right here and just hold on to a feather, I would. But I already got that um would a Bitcoin go to a hundred thousand dollar money invested into crypto? I already got that stuff in from you know like 2020, 2021, early 2021 time frame. So I have no interest in buying more right here, but that's just me personally. If you would like to take a shot, this might be a good opportunity if it holds. Uh, but of course, none of this is financial advice. This is just me looking at a chart. And right now we got all this stuff going on with Putin and he. I don't even know what's going on with that. So it's truly no telling what's even about to happen to markets. But the Russian uh, market was down like 21% today. Uh, so, I mean, stuff getting crazy. Like, it's really getting wild. So I would just say just do your thing. Uh, I'm just letting you guys know 
that we had a key level here and we could see a bounce on a rip or we could see a nasty flush and it have if you bullish on bitcoin then trade bullish if you bearish on bitcoin and trade bearish me i'm just staying conservative i'm not touching it right now just kind of watching like i said it's been trading like a tech stock so it's gonna kind of give me some foresight as to what could come in the markets in the near future so uh definitely like the video subscribe and i'll catch y'all for the next video